Hi, welcome to my Arch Merge System GNOME 6.4.1. We have here a uh, shell which we use, which is normally always bash, but there's also a possibility to change your bash to ZSH. Now, ZSH is very complex and I'm only scratching the surface, so my knowledge is still very limited, but here uh, is what I know already, what you can do. So you can switch your shell, so this thing, which is the terminal, um, you can change that to ZSH with a small script. In any of our GitHubs, we'll find an, uh, in the personal folder, we have 310 ZSH software and themes. If you say, okay, I'm gonna give it uh, a try, then you need to do several things. So let's first off um, try to install this thing. So we just press numbers and press enter. Now ZSH is already installed because of the ISO, but all the rest is not. So ZSH completions, when you type on tab, you want to complete everything. The syntax highlighting, which makes it a little bit more simple, visual. Um, what else? The command not found, that will help you if you type something wrong and it says, hey, can't find that, he'll try to help you. These are loading catalogs, as you can see here. And then last but not least, the most fun part is the Oh My ZSH, which is going to provide beautiful uh, theming, because that's, that's one of the reasons is if not the reason I use it because of the themes. Now you have here a clear message to everybody saying, look, if you install this, you'll need to remove blah, blah, blah. If you want to install, that's not coming from me, this one. But this one is coming from me. Do a change shell, Eric minus S bin ZH. Because unless you don't change your shell, Control-Alt-T, everything is still the same. We're still using Bash. So we need to do something and we just type it over and say sudo change my shell for user Eric. The shell is going to be and then you can type bin and then you can press tab. Why I'm saying it like this? Because when you want to get rid of ZSH again, there it is bin bash, bin sh and bin ZSH. So that's how we figure out which ones we can use. And we should uh, change to the ZSH by telling the password. Okay, changing shell for Eric. Shell changed. All good messages, but of course, if you stay on and you don't log off, you stay on Bash. So we're going to log out and log back in. And Control Alt T is going to provide us with a theme called Dark Blood theme. So it's these things that I admire, that I like. You know, I'm a design kind of guy. So every time you press a terminal, you get another look. As you can see, Control Alt T and oh, it's good that this happens. So this thing happens because um, the developer of this Candy Kingdom theme assumes that you have this and that installed. So that's the only reason uh, there is no batteries in my desktop. I don't think so. So every time you make a new terminal, you'll be surprised. And that's the fun of ZSH. You'll be surprised of the layout. Okay. Um, so if you want to get rid of ZSH again, that's something else. We, we just saw that. You can just quickly type it in before I forget to tell you guys. So minus S, small s, Eric, bin, and then which one? It was bash that we had, okay? Then you log off again, and then you're good to go. You have again bash, but maybe you've noticed, control C, maybe you've noticed there is no NeoFetch in this. There is nothing in here. Well, that's because the ZSH is not reading the same file as bash. Bash is reading this file. So let's open it. Bash is reading this. And it was already copy pasted here. I selected the things I want to copy paste because ZSH, this is, well, let's visually go to it as well. This file, ZSH, is being read and nothing else. The ZS, ZSH theme is set to random due to the script. 
So we get always another team. If you want one team, change the name here with the name Control T. Simonov. Yeah. If you like Simonov, you put Simonov in there and it'll take that team forever. Then, so down here, a lot of information, a lot of uh, hashtags, so a lot of things you can do, a lot of learning you still, I can still do in ZSH. It's a lot of uh, information in here, but for now, I'm happy with the way everything is here. So what we do is we need to get our aliases because Control Alt T, P K S Y U A, command not found. He does not know the alias. So we're gonna get everything from line 12 here till the end. So we have also new fetch. Control C, Z S H, copy paste. Get rid of things he can't understand. Shopped. He can't understand that. And this one improve png has to go as well and if you then save this we have a complete new zshrc all these aliases are in there everything you're used to type will work so if we close everything up and we can close this as well yep no problem Control alt t there you go new fetch is already loaded we have simonov theme and Control alt t again and we have now minimal theme it's quite minimal indeed so these elements are now working and just checking PKSYUA and he asked my passwords. That's better than saying I don't understand it. So there we go, another update. So that's um, how it works. And um, well, I would say enjoy ZSH. This is as far as my knowledge goes. So if you want to have more information, there are lots of tutorials on there. Uh, ArchWiki ZSH, start there and, and see whether you want to use it or not. Enjoy.